Hi, my name is Lincoln, and today is lesson 172. In science today, I studied filming on a budget. Filming on a budget is basically filming a movie, a short film, without a bunch of money. So, like, modern TV shows today and movies use lots and lots and lots of hundreds of thousands of dollars and even millions of dollars. So, filming on a budget, you basically don't use that much money. You get, like, a few background props, maybe. Maybe hire some actors and really just come up with a script. That's really all you need to make a film. Those are the fundamentals of making a film and etc. I mean, any movie can be any way you want because it's your movie. And in history today, I studied the CD-ROM. And the CD-ROM was invented by Dinan in 1982. And the CD-ROM is basically... It's what... It's the device that uses CDs. So... It's the tray, let's say. So, whenever you, let's say... Hit the eject button on an Xbox 360. The CD with the game will come out. And if you physically own it, of course, the CD of the game will come out and you will be able to reuse that CD. It's a, like a donut shape and it has little encoded markings on it. Kind of like a, a film tape in, in a, a VHS. It will, it's basically the same thing except a lot bigger and more 3D. And in English today, I studied a metaphor. And a metaphor is a figure of speech that is used to compare two stuff that aren't alike but have something in common. In math today, I studied how to find the area of a parallelogram. To find the, the area of a parallelogram, you have to you have to multiply the base by the altitude and most of the time, that will be your answer. But in some cases, you indeed do have to divide it by two. This is if you're finding the area of a trapezoid or a triangle. It's because of the sh it's because of the structure of the shapes. It really depends. I mean, you have to take consideration of the height. Um, because remember, whenever you're doing a cubed measure. It's always three dimensions, so you can't ignore the height. But we'll go into that soon, and I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 173.